Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't think he came through Rose's there. China Dog did, but he didn't. Uh, but I went to Dominguez with Stanley. We rode the bus together. See, the Pyrus used to catch the bus on our side of Santa Fe. And uh, they'll post up on this side of Santa Fe and like a few minutes before the bus arrived, they'd come on across the street. Stanley, Dwayne Davis, Phil Johnson. I believe DuPont was going back then. We all rode the bus together. It, I used to sit on this side of the bus, Stanley be on that side, but me and him sit right across from each other. And uh, we always used to conversate, you know what I mean? We always used to conversate. I mean, when he beat this dude Mike up from Front Hood on the bus one day, he whooped dude pretty good out like that. But yeah, Stanley was as solid as we come, bro. Me and him really didn't have no confrontations like that. We almost got down at a Compton parade once, but it didn't happen. And then, I don't know what got into him when we was in juvenile hall, but he, we kind of had some words, but if we were supposed to meet up at the trustee dance and all that shit and was gonna fight it out type of bullshit. But I ended up not going to the dance. I don't know why, something went down. And I didn't end up going. Plus the homie from Harlem Godfather, like, sadly, leave that shit alone. I mean, you you want to use your trustee over them niggas, man. You used to have a trustee dance at uh, Los Petrinos back in the day. And uh, I was in the hole with him when I first came in. Uh, it was me, him, Super Fleet from 5 9 Brim, and Red from 9 Deuce Hoover. And him, Super Flea, and um, Red, they always getting trout as adults, as juveniles. And I was underage, I was 15. And I missed it by a few months. But, uh, yeah, Stanley was a solid dude. Uh, <coughs> it also, we had a situation where he shot a couple of homies and shit. They was young kids and shit, you know, and this and that. And, and when the police got involved and all this, that, and the third, uh, they were putting pressure on them that, you know, they, they have to testify, go to court and all that because they got them to say it was Stanley. So, uh, we used to go put the homies out the county jail uh, every Sunday and uh, give them wet 15s. So one Sunday we go put homies out the county jail and uh, I think it was Bay Rob told me, he said, Sack Stanley wanna holler at you. He said, Stanley, Stanley Pitts wanna holler at you, Sack. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, he told me he wanna holler at you. I said, yeah, okay, all right. So I tell Sammy, I say, Rob, say, Stanley wanna holler at a nigga, man, I wonder what's going on, right? So uh, me and Sammy uh, hang around, come back for the second visit, because there's two visits. Afternoon visit, evening visit at the county jail. So we come back for the other visit, then we pull Stanley out. And uh, so we they called him out. So they called his name, shit. So we head up the uh, little corridors to the phone, and uh, he's sitting there. He don't know who's coming. So he see he see me hit the window and Sammy was standing behind me just smile. So I sit down <coughs> and light came on. So I pick up the phone. <coughs> I say, Stanley, what's that? And I said, the homie say you want to holler at me, man. He said, yeah, Sam. He said, uh. Your people come to court on me. I said, what? He said, the little youngsters, you, you know, the little youngsters and shit, and that shit went down on Willow. 
said, yeah, man, they said he come to court. I said, well, no, nah, man, no, they ain't. I said, I know exactly what you're talking about. I said, um, no, don't worry about that. I said, uh, no, don't worry about that, partner. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. I said, uh, it's good. I'm, I'm glad you told me something. I said, I didn't have a clue. You know, because he shot a couple of them, you know, a couple of them niggas with buckshots, right? Because he, he had a shotgun when he came through well on a bicycle. Broad daylight, got boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Hit a couple of yachts shit, and they parents all scared for their baby shit. But the police tell it, oh, they were getting on them, them, you know. And, and when they, they say it, it was Danny Pippen, they knew he was. Yeah. So when I come out at, at the pants about it, I'm like, what's going on? She said, what are they talking about? They can have warrants put on there. I said, no, that's, they just doing that shit to intimidate y'all. I said, y'all don't have to fucking testify. I said, you, you don't want to have your boys go up and testify. I said, because, you know, it ain't going to be good for them to do that. You know, and this and that. That's the mom, the parents were like, well, we didn't know. They were telling us, you know, we can get warrants, be arrested. I said, that's bullshit. They can't force y'all. So y'all don't have to show up. So when Stanley court date came up, me and Sammy was sitting in the courtroom. And none of the little homies, the two little homies and their parents and shit didn't show up. So they called Stanley Case. They brought Stanley and them out the back, then they called Stanley Case. They brought uh, Stanley to the table, all that shit, and then they would say, uh, called the case, then, uh, uh, the, it's in the state ready to move up the blood and the, uh, the state said, well, we, our witnesses is not here and we're trying to locate our witness and this and that. So the judge said, you know what? Okay, I'll give you to after recess and, you know, this and that. You get your shit together, right? So they, uh, uh, carried standing them case over to recess they started doing other cases, right? So we left, we came back after lunch. Still no witnesses. So the judge said, prosecute, the judge said, prosecute, well, your witnesses, whatever, whatever. He said, well, you know, we still have problems, you know, what, what, what. He said, well, you know, case this, you know, case this mess, you know. You know, so case this mess, you know, no witnesses, and this, and that, and third, huh? No victims to hear to testify and whatever, whatever. It's the case is dismissed. So, so, uh, well, you know, the uh, Stanley lawyer asked for Browns of the miss, and the judge granted to him. So, Stanley got to walk out, he looked back at me and Sammy, me and Sammy getting up to leave. We nodded at, at Stanley, like, and walked out and out of there. So, you know. That's my man right there, man. Since he been home, uh, I didn't talk to him a few times. I still got his number stored in my phone. I hope it's the same. I gotta give him a call, you know. But I've been, you know, having my own personal issues, man, and I'm trying to get my shit sorted out. Like I say, as in the, tonight, I ain't got no place to sleep, man. But uh. I'm over here hanging out with my little nephew from camping up. He said his woman live to show up one, two in the morning. If she do, I bring my ass on out of there and sleep in my car the rest of the way. And come on in here and wake their ass up in the morning to wash my face or something. Or take my ass down there to the nearest Walmart and do that. You know what I mean? But I seen one cat ask for my cash app, man, on the um, last video I did. And, and my cash app is Harvey Sag Hartfield. H-A-R-V-E-Y-S-A-G-H-A-R-T-F-I-E-L-D. With the dollar sign before that. And I do have a PayPal, too, under my email. Harvey Hartfield, R-S-W, at gmail.com. And the phone number is 2-7-0-2-4-7-2-3-3-2-1. And again, you know, those who've been, you know, supporting your boy, I'm appreciative of it. 
keep me in your prayers that I can uh, get this studio apartment next month. So keep me in your prayers, man. And uh, God bless us all. And, uh, you know, one game, one people on minds. You know, we all in the struggle the same. You understand? We all in the same struggle. Struggle the same, brother. Rather we crib, blood, disciple, vice lord, stone, folk kind of hustlers, or whatever, man. Latin kings, 18th streets and CV3s and synthesis and stuff. Whatever, you know. We we all in the in the same struggle, homie. So on that note, man, this year y'all boy the crib, man, and I'm tapping out, man. God bless us all. I love y'all, man. And again, thanks for the support, man. I appreciate it. God bless.